Meet Jake Evans, a recent graduate of Middletown High School. Jake has overcome many challenges throughout his academic and athletic career. At the young age of two, Jake was diagnosed with autism. But rather than let autism rule his life, Jake and his family decided to tackle it head on by developing a partnership with Frederick County Public Schools. That partnership has provided life-changing results. When he was about two, he, at least in Sunday school, he had the largest vocabulary of any of the kids and he was very bright and active. Um, and then he started losing all of his speech and he developed a lot of sensory issues and he would scream uncontrollably and he would flap his hands and bang his head and bite his sister. It was very difficult uh, in a rural area where we were to find people who could tell me what was going on. They finally referred us to a group that um, of state um, assessment. Uh, they diagnosed him with autism. <laughs> the, the biggest challenge was my figuring out what autism was because I didn't know um, how to help him. Um, I ended up um, having to take on the school where we were, which was not here in Maryland, um, and fighting for everything for him. It was, uh, it was a nightmare. Obviously, I, I, I was different. I mean, I'm, I still am different, but, uh, well, since uh, I actually uh, do uh, have autism. Uh, I just had a lot of those uh, social and uh, and sometimes academic struggles uh, that I just felt I should just you know throw in the towel just uh, give up on you know trying to I don't know fit in trying to uh, be part of the school. When um we moved here, I found not only a welcoming uh, school district for him and his needs, but people who were actually willing to implement his goals and find ways to help build on his strengths and develop his weaknesses. The, uh, I've been so impressed with the people at Middletown High. Uh, they have shown me a much different side than the beginning of Jake's life with autism. The teachers here have made all the difference. The number one thing that's made the difference to him uh, has been the development of his social um, uh, component, which is very different for kids on the spectrum. He never could have done that without the football program. These men that coach these boys, in the very beginning they, you know, would give their spiel about how they're building young men and character and they really do mean it. They live up to it. Um, I will forever be in their debt for what they have done for my son. The first time I met Jake, a uh, candid memory would be in ninth grade football, very first day of practice. Uh, Jake is trying to put his equipment on, he has 10 seconds to be ready on the field like everyone else and we give a countdown and Jake is doing everything possible to get that equipment on and scramble to the field. Well, the first day uh, I joined uh, the football team, I was obviously not knowledgeable about like what to do in football and how to do this, how to do that. And I ran out on the field uh, with my pads on backwards, my helmet cocked to the side. He's kind of tripping over himself, but he is not quitting. He's not giving up. He's not asking for anybody to help him. He's trying to do it himself. Uh, immediately from just watching how he dealt with that situation with not asking you know for people to come feel sorry for him of him pers you know uh, uh, getting through a difficult situation on his own quickly he taught us uh, that he had a lot of fight in him and that fight has done a lot for him through his journey the past four years 
Jake was an example of that vocal leader, where he had a confidence of, of, uh, around a pretty good group of football players to actually get up and lead warm-ups or lead push-ups. The football program, it, it really made a difference in his life because those coaches, when I first went to them, they there was no hesitation on their part. I said, could he play? Nobody would ever let him play before because they didn't want to take it on. They didn't want the extra work. They thought it would be a burden. They think it would be a liability. And they said, absolutely, you bring him out here. And they just took it on and they found a way to help him through any of the challenges. He just really transformed into a young man who, uh, and those football players, they had his back every day. No more bullies. They, he would do anything for them and they for him. Football wasn't the only thing that helped Jake succeed. His teachers, speech pathologist, and case manager also formed a team with him, a team that would provide support and develop a plan that would give Jake the best opportunity to thrive throughout his educational journey. One person was uh, Mrs. Richmond, uh, who is uh, my speech pathologist. I just want to thank her greatly. Uh, the person who uh, helped me the most was um, Mrs. McMillan, uh, Mrs. Uh, Stacy McMillan. She is my case manager ever since my sophomore year. She and I have been a team, uh, and she had uh, uh, given me great uh, recommendations and advice on college and uh, I just really want to thank her for just supporting me uh, through this uh, whole high school career because if it hadn't have been for her I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't be going where I'm going right now so well I definitely feel accomplished uh, now that I've graduated high school. One thing that I uh, am planning to do after high school is actually going to a college in Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, it's called Rose Holman Institute of Technology. And I plan to study software engineering. Jake was awarded two scholarships. First, he's a Gates Millennium Scholar which means his education is paid for all the way through his doctoral degree, and he's a Horatio Alger National Scholar. Jake plans to study software engineering and possibly one day develop a program that can better reach others with autism in a way that they understand. He has, um, I think, taught me more than anybody else in this world about patience and unconditional love and fighting for something that you believe in. Like we all kind of become complacent at one point in life and, um, and he has been my inspiration every, every day to be better, to not give up on, on what was so important. I would just like to speak out to uh, all of the uh, people that uh, have felt in my certain situation like if if they uh, feel that they are not uh, like perfect if they feel like they don't belong just remember just forget about what other people think about you just be yourself you will do anything I mean, you can do anything